Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, uh, or good morning. <laughs> Uh, my name is Chad Nordby. I live uh, in East Austin with my wife and my baby and my two-year-old son. We also operate a Type 2 STR, and I'm not going to repeat everything that's been said here tonight on, on both sides, but we need to take a look at the ordinances that you're taking a look at passing and give them the common sense sniff test. But let's take a look at a couple of these. Now, now STR owners have to provide a packet to all of their uh, guests that includes parking restrictions, trash collection, relevant burn bans, and water restrictions. We apply that same litmus test to long-term rentals and hotels? I, I, I think not. Another one that's in here um, is that the point of contact has to be available 24 hours a day within uh, two hours of an emergency notice. So. If you ever go to a commander's meeting on the east side of town and talk to our local police representatives, they'll tell you flat out, unless someone's dying, life's in danger, or the house is burning down, the police will get there when they get there. But now I have to answer your phone call within uh, two hours? I can assure you of one thing. If you knock my door at two in the morning, my dogs will wake me up, I'll probably be there. But if you call my phone, it's probably on do not disturb and I'll get to it in the morning. Um, but if there truly is an emergency, knock on the door and we'll gladly take care of it. But it, it's, it's an onerous type of regulation that if the city can't even respond in two hours, our police department can't respond in two hours, and quite frankly, some of your offices can't respond in two weeks or two months to an inquiry, why do I have to respond in two hours or risk my entire license? You take a look at some of these other ones that are uh, on here, and you're now going to require us to keep the name and address and check-in time of every single person that's staying in there. Rhetorically, check a hotel that's ever done this. And the last thing but before I go, the, uh, we, we've talked about the, the correlation and causation. If, if you're going to focus solely on correlation for all these things, you better drag the tech industry in here and you better grab the coffee shops in here because they're certainly all driving gentrification and change also. Thank you. Thank you very much.